I have a motto that I live by. Either you rock or you suck. When you You know, I wanted a studio 30 years ago, but of course I'm broke and, you know, grew up lower middle class and, you know, I didn't have the money to start a studio or the location. I grew up in Kansas, you know. And um, so when Martina's career had success and I had success in my own businesses, you know, I, I had to go and, and build a studio and we put probably $30 million in this place. Was it a smart thing? No. Was it a great thing? Well, yes, in some ways. But it's the greatest and most stupid thing that I've ever done is to build Blackbird Studio. I did it because of my passion for great audio. That's the main driving factor. I'm such a fan of music. I had to be involved in music. I have to work in music. I don't have a choice. So I'm not a great singer. And I'm not a player, so what are my options? Well, I could engineer, that's one option. And if all I do to contribute to great music is provide the studio in which to record, well, fine, I did something to contribute. There are studios in Nashville, Tennessee that you walk in that feel like walking into a dentist's office, okay? That is not conducive to creativity and to excitement and to passion and to, you know, and to getting inspired performances. You don't, you, you know, you need an inspired performance. An inspired performance could be the difference between a gold record and a double platinum record. Or not a hit, oh, it's a hit. That inspiration, and it's impossible to define, but when players play and they are truly inspired, Everybody gets it. They may not be able to understand why, but everybody likes it. I've got to own that. I want to hear that whenever I want to hear that. So we built these studios, and I never wanted the studio to be the reason you didn't get what you wanted. I didn't want the studio to be the shortcoming of the project, ever. I mean, if you need an Ursa Major space station or a Delta Lab acoustic computer or you know, a 480 or a, or a Fairchild or 12 Fairchilds. If you need that to get the sound you want, then by God, we better be able to provide it. That matters. I look at the artist and the, and the engineer and the producer as painters. We need to offer every color on the palette. If we don't, we failed. We didn't do the job. And I don't like failing. I'm a competitive son of a bitch. <laughs>